Alrighty, Fern Valley Farmers, it's time for another cooking lesson. Today we're making beef soup Filipino style. Stay tuned. Alrighty, we're back. Welcome back to Fern Valley Farms YouTube channel. On this channel, we're pure country. <clears throat> if we're first meeting, my name is Vince, and uh, we are going to make Filipino beef soup. Now, I don't know how to make this all the way, so I'm going to get this started. My wife is actually going to be home later, and she, she says she'll come on and she will finish this off. I'm going to get it started because she's at work. Uh, you want to let the beef... What I'm using here is just, just uh, beef leg bones, actually. You can use any kind of beef. You can use uh, chuck roast, arm roast, uh, leg bones, neck bones, any kind of beef just to make the broth and make the soup. And then you're going to add, we're going to put green beans, we're going to put fresh green beans. you got to try this. This is called chayote. I never had this before. This is really good. This is like a, this is in the squash family. And most grocery stores sell this, but it's called chayote. I think I'm saying it right. This is really good. The first time I had this, I was like, OMG, this is really good. Oh, yeah. You like the hat? Right. Anyways, chayote, you got to try this. Onion. And garlic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got the beef. Let me see if I can zoom this in here. Not that you don't know what it's like to boil beef, but what I'm doing, let's put this right there. You can't really see it, but on the stove here, what I'm doing is I'm just going to boil this beef just for a few minutes. I kind of like to do this. It kind of just takes some of the fat out, but you don't want to do too much of it because you want to leave some of that fat in and that's what's going to give your, your soup its flavor. <coughs> If you just boil it straight in there, <clears throat> when all the fat rises to the top, then you can take a spoon and scoop some of it out because if not, your, your, your soup will be greasy. Um, it's kind of like when I make all the recipes, if I'm going to boil any kind of beef um, or yeah, any kind of meat, I'll boil it for a few minutes first, take the grease out of it, take some of the grease out of it, and then I'll put it in the pot. Like when I made my spaghetti gravy, hopefully you guys seen that video. Uh, when I made the beef neck bones for that, I boiled that first just a little bit, then I cooked the rest of it in the pot of spaghetti sauce, and that adds flavor to it. So the same thing here. We're going to put, uh, I'm going to fill this three quarters full of water. Oh, and there's going to be black peppercorns in here too. We've got them. We've actually got them in this little tea thingy here. Actually, it works pretty good. It's actually it's actually made for tea, but you can put that in there, and it'll just kind of boil. That gives it all the flavor. So it's going to be green, be fresh green beans. Chayote, got to try, this is really good. Uh, a whole onion, I'm going to cut it up in like four pieces. And garlic. And I think that's all she's adding to it. But when she gets home, she's going to finish this off. And I'm getting it started because sometimes the beef, if you want the beef really tender, boil it for a while. The longer you boil it, the, ten, the more tender it gets. And it's really good that way. So I've got this uh, just about to boil. I'm going to add this to the pot, then I'm going to put it on low and let it simmer. I'm going to let it simmer for a couple hours. She'll be back. She, she gets home from work in a couple hours. I'll let it simmer for a couple hours, and she'll come home, and she'll add the rest. And she said she agreed to come on. You might not see her, but she'll be putting the rest of the stuff together. She's a little camera shy. So I think that's it. And then what you can do for right now, and then what you can do is you can make, you can make noodles. You can put egg noodles in it. Uh, she's probably going to put some rice. Filipino style. This is a really good Filipino recipe. You're gonna to want to try this. And since I she agreed to come on once and do some of these recipes, I'm gonna get her on here and make some of these other recipes she makes. They are really, really good. Filipino cooking is really good. They eat a lot of rice. Um, and there's different ways to do things: shrimp, a lot of fish. Um, so if I can get her to not be camera shy, we're gonna make some of these recipes, and you gotta try this. Some of this stuff is really, really good. There's something called Sao Sawin, and I'm not sure how to make it, but she does. OMG, is that good. You could, you could dip shrimp in that, you could dip chicken, you could dip beef. Oh my God, is that good. It is, it's, it's, a, it's a sauce that I'm not going to try to explain it, but it's just like a dipping sauce, and there's tomatoes and onions in it, and you can put it on your meat, or you could dip your fish into it. Oh my God, is it good. That's another recipe, but I'm going to put that on here, because you're going to want to try that. That is really, really good. So anyway, I'm going to boil this, get some of the grease out of it, put it in the pot, let it boil for, let it simmer for a couple hours, get nice and tender, and we'll be back. All right, 
I got the beef in the pot. I just turned it on. We're going to let this boil. This is going to simmer for a few hours. I'm just going to take an onion. I'm just going to do a whole onion. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to peel all the skin off of it. Just peel. I'm just going to cut it like in four quarters. We're just going to put it right in the water. It's a cold day today. You can't beat good soup. I actually made a potato soup a few weeks ago and I started the video and I'm not sure why. I never finished it. I've got half of it ready. But when I make that potato soup again, you gotta, I'll put that on. I'll finish the video. That was really, really good. I love good soup. That's when it's cold out. I've got a cheeseburger soup recipe that I'm going to do. Uh, I, I remember I got che I have uh, cheese in the freezer. We have got a huge thing of cheese and I split it. And I've got it in the freezer. Uh, cheeseburger soup. It's pretty involved, but oh my god, here we go. That is really, really good. Okay, so I've got the onion. Just take any onion. This, is, this, hap this happens to be just a yellow onion. You can use a Vidalia, a sweet, whatever. I'm just going to cut it. I'm just going to cut it in quarters. I think this is how she said to do it. I sure hope so. Anyways, I'm going to just take this and we're going to put it in the water. I'm going to let that sit in there. Onion, onion sitting there. And we're going to take a whole, a whole uh, garlic. We're not going to pull it apart. You just take the garlic and pull off all the, all the outside skin. Just get it down to where it's, you know, you get all the, all the, uh, you know, all the peelings off it. You can just take the whole garlic and just put it right in there. The rest of this, we don't do yet. We're going to do this first. I'll show you what this looks like. Let's see if I can do this without giving you guys a headache here with the camera. Let's bring you over here. And that's it right now, cooking. It's just going to simmer, like I said, for a couple, three hours. We'll let that go when she gets home. We will add the rest of the ingredients here. So let's get the camera back over here. Well, I'm not bossing you guys around too much here. It's always nice when you got a camera, man. Doing this by yourself gets to be a pain sometimes. So, anyways, okay, that's it. So we've got the beef. We got, we got the beef. It's going to simmer for a few hours. The onions in there. The garlic is in there. The whole peppercorns are in there. What these are is black, just, it's black pepper, but they just call it peppercorns because it's the whole thing. So, um, we're going to let that go. We'll, we will be back and we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Yeah. All right. A couple things I forgot to tell you. you got to add beef bouillon. You can put two or three cubes in. I use the powder. I just kind of like this better. I don't use the cubes. I, you can buy this powder at any grocery store. I use the beef bouillon powder. I put two tablespoons in there. You can do whatever to taste. Uh, salt. I put about two tablespoons of salt, which sounds like a lot, but it really isn't once it all boils down. And I forgot the jalapeno peppers. So I threw two good sized jalapenos. I don't cut them. I don't open them. I just put the pepper in whole. And that really gives it a hot flavor. I'm doing this because my wife is too camera shy. So I'm having to give the rest of the instructions here. Uh, but I'll get her on sooner or later if you want. So anyways, Two tablespoons of beef bouillon, a couple of, couple of tablespoons of salt, just kind of do it to taste, you know, just pour it and dump it in. And then two, I put two, where are they at, right here? Two jalapeno peppers, you just put them in whole. And now I'll add a flavor to it. And then just stir it up, and just kind of let it cook. All right, we'll get ready to put the next ingredient in. All right, we're gonna add the chayote next. You guys gotta try this stuff is really good. The first time I had this, I was like, OMG, I can't believe how good this is. I've never ever had this before. It's part of the zucchini family, correct? It's yeah. part of the zucchini family. Yeah. It's really good. Okay, so the meat is cooking, uh, the peppers, the salt, the beef bouillon. I'll put all this in the description. Uh, next is going to be we're going to put the we're going to put the bean and the cabbage. That's the last two. Th oh, there's the last two things to do. So I'm going to put the chayote in right now. You can put as much as you want. You know you can just you can make this pot as big as you want, as much water as you want. We just kind of got it for pretty much one 
pretty much one one serving here. So if there's any extra, you can go in the freezer. Uh, so the coyote will cook till it gets soft. Once that is soft, uh, then we'll add the beans and the cabbage, and that's it, right? And then that's it. And then we just let it boil till everything is soft. And we're gonna make rice, right? Yeah. We're gonna. She's too shy to come on camera. <laughs> we're gonna make rice, and then you can add the rice. You know, you can, you can add the, the beef soup to the rice, it's really good. Or you can do egg noodles or any kind of noodles, wherever you want. Okay, so next we'll do the beans. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more water to this because it's starting to kind of boil down a little bit. So I'm going to add just a little bit of water. And we're going to put the cabbage in. I've got the rice cooking. We're going to put, we're gonna, instead of making noodles with this, we're going to make rice with it. But you can do noodles wherever you want. I'm actually going to make noodles because my daughter doesn't want rice. I've got everybody standing here watching me. You notice I got the hat on the correct way now. I don't know if you noticed it was on backwards a minute ago, but now it's correct. Okay, so I'm going to put the cabbage in now. So, I know it looks like a lot. I'm going to put it all in. I did wash my hands in case you were curious. like in the pot it's almost done let me see if I can zoom in here sorry if I'm jumping the camera around here okay see the cabbage so it's not really soupy soup but it's soup but when it's all done it's really good all that all those vegetables and like I said just kind of season it to taste I'll put at the bottom of the video all the stuff that's in this and uh, so we, we're going to take this out in a minute. The rice is cooking right now. So as soon as that's done, we will pull it out. Beautiful. There it is. Cool. Be right back. All righty. We're back. And we're putting it in the bowls. It's all done. I can zoom this in a little bit here. You can see what this looks like. Scoop it out, put it in the bowl. The rice is done. Add the rice to it. Oops, sorry, I'm moving this camera way too much here. Sorry. All right, let me turn it off. I forgot about that. Just keep it right there. And that's what it looks like. We're on. All right, we're dishing out the soup. There's the rice. There's the soup. And that's it. That's what the finished product looks like. Zoom this out here a little bit. So you can just add rice to it. You can pour the you can pour it over the rice, however you want to do it. Let me zoom in a little bit on one really close here. Right there. Hold on. I know this is weird, people. Sorry. There it is. And how do you pronounce this in the Philippine? Nilagang baka. Did you guys all catch that? Say it one more time loudly. Nilagang baka. Okay. I hope you guys all caught that. I'll write that down. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully you guys try this recipe. Hopefully you like it. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you think if you do make it. Consider subscribing to the channel. That'd be great. Support the channel. Uh, hopefully you guys make this and try it. Let me know what you think. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.